Hey everybody, it's Melissa. Welcome back. I'm messing with the camera. Should be doing that. Okay, um, today we were using plate M419. It was a part of last year's Christmas box, big Christmas box that we got. We're going to be layered stamping today. No reverse stamping on this one. My hands are tired. Nope, not going to do it. Um, but there are some tremendously cute things that you can reverse dip. And I'll probably come back to this one because I love the snow globe. I'll find a snow globe somewhere. I want to do I want to do the snow globe. Um, so, anyway, without further ado, we're going to be doing, you know, the trees. We're going to be doing um, the deer and the little, um, what are we going to be doing? Um, geez, this one, I believe. Yeah, this one. Um, so, anyway, um, and then the Noel. So, my color palette is this whoop, cherry bomb uh, seedling. I would have used a darker green. I just realized there's. I've got to go shopping on their website and get some colors that I need that are darker than this. Emerald is too dark. I need a true Christmas green and cream. This is a biggie knots. This is from the. Um, the Halloween box, no, the not the big Halloween box, the monthly box disco death. Let's see, death disco was that what it's called? The monthly box that was Halloween. So, this is our three colors, and I'm hoping that this will be our outline color that it'll show up over the red and the green. Um, but we'll see. If not, then I'll switch it to white, it's not a big deal, <clears throat> but I hope that it will so it'll all kind of flow together. Um, so let's see um let's just do the center first and if you will have seen my prior video and i was having trouble with these new nail tips sticking onto the holders that were coming off while i was trying to stamp which is not done so let's <clears throat> let's just crack open and go with um this red nail and we're gonna pick up this image right here my husband's phone's ringing hold on look back um let's see gonna pick up this no l sorry i wasn't spacing it out there for a minute all right i said over the last couple days i've become a big fan of the large scraper card okay so you can roll that or you can press straight down whatever works best for you and we're gonna come in here and this is all this is gonna have on it just kind of in the center i'm gonna try to get it in the center as best i can looking through the camera lens let's see how well this shows up over red oh i like it it's gonna show up well i believe and after we get that base coat on there or smudge free top coat rather base coat good grief um all right so let's get rock and rolling on these 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 images so let's just start from the side and i'm gonna do this image right here and our first color that we're gonna do our outlines are all gonna be um this color okay so we're just gonna alternate colors so we're gonna use obviously red here and pick up our base so these are some simple layering nails, like not hard to do, what can I say, not hard to do, and then not be able to get them to go <laughs> on the nail. I was just fighting it earlier. Let's see, wait a minute, did that miss something? No, it actually has an empty spot. Okay, just checking. All right, let's see, I'll kind of do this right here. Hope these don't want to roll off the holder that was like so hard to do that's weird looking but there is an empty spot right there there's like there's nothing there okay so we're going to come in with boogie nuts i'm going to pick up the outline and scrape that and here we go. Duran is in here harassing Journey. What's new, right? There they go. Let the games begin. There we go. 
There you go. Great for when you're trying to line up a stamp. Oh, that's way off. It's okay. It is all right. Do not fear. I just did some really cute little ones from the day before that you will have already seen that are adorable and they're not lined up exactly right either. So cute. Those are adorable. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our green open. So what we're going to do, um, this one we're going to stamp in red and outline in green. I just figured, since it, I mean it's on the other color. So, all right, this one's going to be the stockings. So we're going to pick those up in green. See, now what are we going to pick them up in? No, we're going to pick them up in red. And then we're going to outline them in green. It's a pretty green. I mean, it's a pretty bright green, but... I just need something. Some in some things, I think I want a little bit darker green. Alrighty, go. Okay. Lay that down. And come here, and I'm gonna clean a little bit of this because it got over on a tiny bit of the outline there and then we are going to outline it in the green so we can get the, the greenery that's in here to show up okay and let's pick that one up and I won't know what to do when I get all these done I'm like what am I going to be doing with myself right now all I'm doing is try, trying to decide what to do next so day eight I'm getting down there two-thirds of the way done oh look how cute look how cute oh my gosh that's so adorable love it love it love it love it love it these are sim these are these are simple layered stamping if you're not comfortable with reverse stamping do this okay so let's get for this green nail we're going to put down red and pick up our this right here our deer and stuff the outline of them Deer on here in the center. There we go. See, these are these are easy, guys. Even like I said, if you miss lining them up, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Once again, my red's a little bit over here on the outline. So, going to pick the outline up and look at that. This one right here. And grab it and I like the ice cube stamper I know everybody a lot of people that use the monocle and I admire them but this is just what I learned on and started on so this is just what I'm comfortable using so okay here we go again that's off a little bit doesn't matter it doesn't I can almost like it better when they're like a, a little bit abstract looking. <clears throat> okay, look how fast this one has gone, guys. Just got one more. So we've got trees to do. So of course we're going to do our background in green. And grab this right here. This is a very like high impact look with not a lot of work and I like that <laughs> a lot. I like it a lot. No reverse stamping on this one. That's that's always good. I mean, I love to reverse stamp, don't get me wrong, especially when I'm in here by myself and I have all the time in the world to do it. I'm totally down with doing a ton of it, but when I'm feeling like um, <laughs> I've got to do 12 videos and I'm trying to make them look as cute as possible and then I've got to try and reverse stamp like a million things my you know I'm like oh that won't look well unless I do it in reverse and so so this is a good way 
This is a good plate. This is a really good plate. Again, this came in last year's Christmas box, so some good plates in there. Go look them up. I'm sure they are still probably available, as long as they're not sold out. Whoop, I touched it out, which means this is going to be another one that's like a little bit off. That's okay. It's not much, and it's cute. So maybe I just need to be like the queen of <clears throat> a little bit off, a little bit sideways, a little bit abstract, right? And I love the fact that as soon as you sit it down, it's dry. So, I'm going to clean the plate. I am going to put some smudge free on there. And then I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. Look how cute they are. And I mean, these are as festive as you will find. Um, they're so cute. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look how cute. Even though they're not all lined up perfect. I mean, I think they're just so cute. It doesn't matter. They're adorbs. And... Let me give you the plate number again. It's this plate. M419. So we did did the these full nails and the Noel. So there you go. That is number eight, I think. I think. Alrighty, you guys see you next time.